So here you will see how we can connect the watch to the mobile phone first in the watch you can click on the bluetooth setting over here and in your bluetooth setting over here click on your on the enable make sure that the bluetooth is on you can click on search okay to search for available devices for me it's already connected gwq2 gw20-q it's already connected okay and then you can also connect the sense better you connect the uh, with the headphones okay so it's already connected the next step is to download the the app from the play store you can go to the play store and type in wear fit 2.0 okay you can see wear fit 2.0 it is one word there's no space you can see the logo here okay click on install for me it's already installed okay over here and now open the app okay it's better that you register okay because you sometimes you get more options when you register click on register now okay enter your email address and then click on enter your email address and then click on get the verification code click on that after some time you will receive an email okay you will receive an email like this which will have the verification code over here okay you can enter the verification code and you can enter whichever password you want to set and click on register okay it might ask you then again it will ask you to log in enter the email address and the password and log in okay since i already have an account i will log in now okay so once you log in you will get this screen fine you can set your username your avatar your age all your personal details over here okay and you can go ahead with next if you want to go ahead, go ahead with that now this step is very important you have to click on allow for everything click on allow 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 yes and very important thing is turn on message notifications click on that one and make sure for this app where fit 2.0 okay it is allow okay very important so these these steps are important otherwise if you miss any of these steps sometimes things will not work correctly okay enable self starting permission better you click on allow also okay it's not important but it's okay fine okay click on this this click on got it discovery click on me over here click on connection management and now you will connect the band into the app okay so make sure the bluetooth again once again is on and click on connect band okay it'll ask you to start the gps just start the gps okay it'll it'll give you a list of uh, devices most probably it'll like gw20 or v20 or something like that click on that make sure this this thing is on okay now it is connected for iphone users it is important that they connect it twice first from the bluetooth settings and again from the app better for android users also now it is connected fine okay now there are some settings that you can do here click on setting no uh, click on setting and you can you, you can click on the 12 hour system which is 12 or 24 hour system okay uh, you can click on the device management over here okay and a few things and what you can do is here yeah hand up screen hand up screen means when the when the watch is down when you when you make the watch up then the light will come off come on and when you make the watch down it will it will go off so i'll show that in a moment click on hand up screen hourly measure hourly measure means every hour if you want the watch to measure your details and sync with the app you can click on that okay so every hour there is a 
there there is a sensor over here so every hour what the watch will do is that it will from this sensor it will take all the requirements like your blood pressure your oxygen level your heart rate and everything and it will sync over there if you want it you can always keep it on okay fine you can also set reminders okay and you can set a clock reminder you can add alarms and then the alarm on the watch will ring okay and very important thing is app notification okay make sure that the apps the, like whatsapp or any other uh, this uh, particular application or watch supports these are the uh, application that supports for notifications so whatsapp is already there make sure it is on right now it is already on okay and uh, that's it and if you want to add contacts uh, what you can do is that you can add up to eight frequent contacts means the con number of contacts that you want to add uh, that you use that you call frequently or always click on frequent contacts click on add contact and from your list of contacts you can actually add the contact and once you have added the contact click on sync to bracelet so once you do the sync to bracelet then in that case when you see uh, in that case you can see go to contacts right now it shows please add common contacts to my app okay there is no con contacts added so let me just add a contact over here okay and i click on sync to bracelet okay and when you see here uh contacts you see the contact has come so you can add up to eight frequent contacts okay fine okay now how do you change the face now when you start you get this 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 design of this face how if you want to change it just click on it long like keep it pressed keep your keep your this thing finger pressed and then you can go up and you can change the design you can see you can change them again click like this and select it the design is changed again the long press the design is changed okay fine and you can see that it has connected to the watch and the watch uh, the date and time is already set because it's already connected via bluetooth and via the app to the uh, mobile phone okay now what you can do is uh, a few settings here yeah if you want to call click the this button over here keyboard and you can call any number that you want okay just click the number here and click on this thing and you can call okay so and you can actually also answer it there's speaker over here so you can also answer it from your uh, watch over here you don't need the mobile so you, if when you make the call the call will go from the mobile but you can answer and everything and cut the call and answer the call from from the watch so you don't need to be near the mobile for this but you can do it for only the uh, yeah you can you can dial, just dial the number and you can make the call that's all okay Yeah, these are the call settings that if you want to if you want to set any call settings any sos call that you want to make records there's no call history once you start making the calls then you will see all the calls that you have made over here call history okay okay and since you have already got the uh, it's configured the notifications okay right now you see there are no messages okay so now what i'll do is that i'll try to send a message You see the message has come, so you get the notifications also. So if you want to see what is the message, you can see the message here. Okay, 
so the message is here also receiving the message over here okay and uh, that's it sometimes you will see that it is zero 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 over here okay see because it is zero 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 over here or sometimes it's zero zero so the reason for that is see it cannot always show if uh, show your heartbeat every time because the sensor will has to check so the sensor cannot work continuously to monitor your this thing so if you see i'll show you an example if you go inside to the heartbeat you see the sensor over here the sensor starts so it will start measuring now okay let me just uh, connect it We just take some time now. Okay, so I'll show you the devices, eighty-nine and everything. Okay, so now what do you do is that also in the app, just see it is updated in the app also. Okay, uh, just click on heart rate. Click on heart rate. Okay. And shows you all the this thing over here. Just click on single testing. And just wait for the time. Then it will show 32 seconds. You can see that it has measured. And after some times it will update over here also okay it will show the update here after some time once you have measured it it will show the update so it shows the blood pressure and all of these things there are also other things like uh, your personal information and all of this 